Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new point of view. Our digital show edition of Linea Pelle Fair, which is updated every news about our companies. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So today is Wednesday, 5th of August, and we are so pleased to introduce our brand spotlight with Prealpina. Welcome, Giulio Lazzari, today representing Prealpina. Welcome. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Orietta. Nice to meet you again. And uh, nice to see you all. So, welcome, Giulio, to this presentation, uh, which is very interesting in a way that you want to anticipate to us some of the highlights of your company. So we get this title, Green Tech. So I like to listen something related to how is a company or which is a green attitude. Yeah, so uh, I repeat again, thanks a lot, Mrs. Orietta. At first, I introduce again myself. I'm Giulio Lazzari, uh, Sales Manager in Perpina Tannery. Uh, giving to you all a fast overview of uh, Prealpina is uh, an Italian tannery who produces uh, uh, cow skins uh, for, especially for shoes, uh, bags, uh, and accessories too. Uh, this means that uh, we especially work leather for uh, from thickness uh, 081 uh, until uh, 222. And uh, what Prealpina is appreciated for uh, in our strict uh, is, is our strict mentality because of our quality and our service with the customers. So maybe, Orieta, if you want to make start uh, uh, the video, maybe it can be okay. also. So, so let's show the video so you can introduce us in your company. Yeah. So this is this is the tunnel. If the video maybe let's move. Is working. Is yes, it's moving. Yes, it is. Okay. So we are seeing all the people that work inside of Prealpina. We also see you, your picture. Okay, that's fine because here by my connection maybe it's not working very well, so I see a little bit uh, working bad. Anyway, I go on and I was saying, yeah, that Prealpina is uh, like appreciate all around the world because of the quality and because of the service we are used to, to give to our customers. And also because we are always trying to follow in the way to get a good cooperation, good collaboration with uh, our customers, and so to try to build uh, a good collaboration with the customer first. Now we are seeing our video, so the tunnel outside and inside. Uh, so here we have all the process uh, that are controlled inside uh, of us. Uh, and just to let you know, also some of our articles are following some our of own certification. I mean that all production that we have in process for all the customers are always tested by our laboratory that we have inside. And so our doctor step by step need to test all the production. I'm talking about uh, something like uh, Orietta uh, start uh, our presentation with uh, the green tech. Uh, green tech means uh, the wet white leather. So we are talking about uh, chrome free or metal free. Uh, it depends on what customer need. Sometimes uh, customers, some brand prefer the chrome free and others prefer the metal free. So it depends on the value that you need to give to your final product. So uh, the first step is the green tech. Uh, in a second step, we have the hydro tech. Uh, hydro tech uh, means uh, waterproof leather. 
And here we do many articles in waterproof uh, from thickness uh, 0 0.8 uh, until 2.2. Uh, so from uh, uh, the fashion uh, until the safety, until the bike, uh, uh, I'm always talking about shoes in this case uh, for the higher thickness. And so we are specialized for uh, the technical leather but also for the fashion leather. It's always depending from the customers. Uh, a special thing, uh, always talking about uh, uh, certification we are doing today, and so we are still on the way to make some developing, is uh, the olive certification. Uh, people to, today say olive leather, and now we have some product like a crust, like a new book, like an embossed leather, but uh, we are developing to get uh, our own certification like Hydrotech one and the Green Tech one that we already have. Uh, going ahead, speaking about the certification for Prepina, uh, we have the environmental man management system is the standard 14001. And then also we get the sustainability certification. And today probably uh, is one of the best things that a tannery uh, need to, to have. And so the, the movie of Prepina right now is finished. Here Orieta is showing you all uh, our certification. So the first that we talked was uh, the green tech, uh, that is this one. Yes, so Giulio, I like it. to open immediately this part of certification so everyone can see that in your website you publish all the certification. I really would like to see maybe to, ex to explain a little bit why you started to invest in this type of uh, green tech, hydro tech, because it seems to be a very uh, long process to get these certifications. Yeah, so uh, about these two certification, about the Hydrotech and the Green Tech, Prepina got it already uh, on 2003, so many years ago. Uh, in the beginning, Prepina started with the Hydrotech, so with waterproof certification, because of, in a first step, Prepina, uh, get a great collaboration with uh, uh, some uh, customers uh, uh, who produce uh, safety shoes uh, and biker shoes uh, some, or mountain shoes, you know, so something like for te technique. And so in the beginning, uh, Propina needs to, to get uh, a waterproof cert certification. But because of Propina, I also want to be the only one like, you know, uh, to keep separate uh, between the other companies, uh, Prepina, I repeat, prefer to get uh, their own certification. And so, in a first step, uh, Prepina did the uh, Hydrotech certification. Then, uh, because of also not only the safety shoes, but also because of uh, uh, the fashion. So we are speaking about uh, shoes, bag, and accessories, uh, mm -hmm. all the three field, uh, not only shoes, uh, but the brands, uh, the fashion style, uh, they start to ask also something different. So uh, keep out the, the chrome leather, keep out uh, the environmental problem, uh, if, like the pollution or something like that. And so Propina start to, to improve uh, the idea, getting also the new certification. Also, uh, we have also to say thanks uh, many years ago uh, with some brands that uh, help us to make uh, this developing. Because, uh, you know, when you decide to get uh, your own certification, you have many steps to do. And so you have to be focalized about what you, and not what you, but uh, about what you need to get. And so when Prepina owner decide to get the certification, 
uh, we start also to make some new developing uh, in our uh, uh, row height and uh, in the end we got it. So this is very interesting and I think we can also maybe see some of this product because you started, as I understood, from a very technical aspect and now because the trend in the latest seasons was going to be more practical, comfort, sport, at leisure, so you develop another product. May you show us some of the product? Do you have any samples here? So can we see something? I can yeah. also see in the it, website. It's not working very well. Are you talk, still talking about the green tech one? Both. We can Both. talk about green tech, we can talk about hydro. Yes, because now so, I would like to see some practical example. Okay, sure. So I take my phone, I come here, I bring it here with me. So can you see me? Maybe I try to yes, we can see how, okay, it's like that. Okay, so here, for example, we are talking about our articles. Uh, it is called West Hydrotech. We are talking about, uh, uh, I repeat, uh, cow hides, hard cow skins. It's uh, full grain, natural grain, really homogene. And so here, uh, in the beginning, the article started for, uh, for shoes, uh, for women's shoes, uh, uh, and for men's shoes in the beginning. But today, because of the look and because the chemical products uh, give us also a collaboration, a, a good idea to, to get also the test, uh, the nice test also for bags. And so today, an article like this is used for both kind of material. So this is the skin. Can I ask you, can you move it a little bit? I like uh, to see the performance. I like yeah, to see sure. the movement. Sure. Yes. yes, because you said that this is perfect for footwear and also for bags. Yeah, so I repeat here, uh, maybe you are not here with me, so you cannot really feel uh, the article, yeah, surely. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the feeling is really nice. We can see, we can see your end. You can, we yeah. can see your end. We can see the touching that you have with the skin. Yeah, and so also if it's an APA here, the usage of the article, so the cutting usage mm -hmm. is really... Uh, I'm sorry, but sometimes people call me and um okay. what can I say? anyway yeah it's uh it's really homogene leather because of it i repeat it's a natural grain sometimes uh, with natural grain is not uh, uh it's not natural to get uh, really homogene leather but here you can have it okay so can we see something in uh, in hydrotech again Yes, then again about Hydrotech, let's check it. Then we have also the classic Nubuck. We know about Nubuck, we can talk for years, but the only things to, to see usually about the, the Nubuck is the writing effect. I wish you. So it's really clear how the letter is here, the, the look. The feeling, it depends on the, the thickness because we can start from the thickness 0 0.8 until 2 to 2. Here I'm uh, with uh, the thickness 1.4.1.6. So the feeling is not really soft. It's uh, a little bit strong, but not really, really strong. As you can see here, the looseness uh, is not really appreciate for this letter. Okay, we understand this part. So, what, which, uh, for which product you suggest this Nabuk? For which product? Uh, so, usually the the, the new book is born for uh, shoes, but also for women's shoes, uh, also for boots. It depends always 
I'm always saying that it depends on the style uh, the customers need because uh, the new buck uh, is used also for make bags sometimes, but for sure it's not possible to get a look like this because for bags uh, you need to, to fix a little bit the leather and so maybe the look will be not really like this. Okay, I understand. So you have to do another types of fixing if I want yeah. to do for, for bags because I yeah. need more resistance. Exactly. Okay, correct. This is fine. Then about also other kind of material for uh, uh, the Hydrotech. I show you one more article. It's a smooth leather. Here is a 1416. It's always for uh, shoes, this one, just for shoes. Is really smooth. This one is not full grain, is buffed and waxed. So there's a little bit of cream on the top. The feeling, I don't know if you can hear, but anyway, it's uh, really, the leather is a little bit strong. And yeah, so when you move. Can we back. say it has a structure and has this kind of paper sound? Yeah, yeah, Nasty. that's correct. Yeah is a matte bright can we see again because i seen is a matte opaque brown it's mm, not really uh this one is uh, yeah it's between the shining and the opaque okay. the the things is that the look is really natural maybe here by phone is not really sure the look yeah. but and I have another question. Can we see Rustica, Hydrotech? Rustica. Do you have one it? Moment. Uh, now I can see you, okay. Rustica is this one. So this is, uh, I can say, is the first, one of the first articles Pralpina uh, produced. Uh, I remember that Pralpina uh, birth uh, 50 years old uh, last year, so mm -hmm. it's still young, I can say. <laughs> anyway, of uh, here uh, we are talking about an article uh, that we produce uh, from the thickness of 1.4 until 1.82 is uh, buffed and waxed. Uh, the, the look is pull up effect because of the oil, because of the filling. In the beginning, the articles is born for only for technical shoes. Uh, so mountain or something like that. But today, some people, I have to say, they are following also, uh, how to say, the vintage. So sometimes people use it for make a cap, for make bags. Uh, it depend, it's always depending on the, the, the idea the customers have. But yeah, you but can see here the effect is really pulled up. Can you show us a little bit closer? I see it's a very smooth grain, isn't it? Mm, no, it has no. not. It's no. really smooth leather, this one. Smooth leather, but it's very grainy. We can see that. Perfect. Great. And now I really would like to know more about green tech. So do you have some example of green tech? Yes. So I start from... I see in your website you have several typology. You have Mariana green tech. Not... Mariana green tech, yeah, is this one, is the ones that I'm showing you. Okay. Uh, so these articles uh, is possible to do it uh, from thickness one, one one two, one 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 three, and no more because uh, the articles uh, need to be really smooth. They don't need to to get any grain and don't need to to move a lot. And so here the articles uh, is uh, I repeat is smooth, uh, is buffed and waxed. So when you brush it, maybe with some cream the articles uh, uh, became darker, okay? And the, the look is a little bit uh, pull up also here. And the feeling, the different uh, in green tech leather is the feeling. It's not possible to, 
let you understand the feeling until you don't touch it because uh, also the the herd is not possible to to understand but anyway but just try to explain is a scent feeling or buttery feeling no it's uh, it's always soft but um, maybe it's harder that the leather's back you know because sometimes mm -hmm. with the napa napa usually uh, has a structure that the leather goes back you know and, okay. and this one uh, it remain remain you see? it's more memory form so yeah it's yeah it has more memory correct yeah this is the Marana. Uh, I can say the brother of Marana is the country. is really similar leather, but the ones is opaque, and this one, the country one, is more shining. So if this one in the beginning, and usually people use it uh, only for shoes, uh, and also here uh, the standard customer use it for uh, for women's shoes. Here people can use it for shoes, but because of the test is really high, you can use it also for bags or accessories. Okay. The feeling anyway is the same also in this one. So it's really similar in Marana. Also if the process is a little bit different, but the final look uh, is really similar. I repeat, one is opaque and the other one is more shining. It's more shiny, quite natural shiny. Yeah, more natural shining. Then another article that I want to introduce you is uh, Anapa. It's like uh, the article West I showed you before, but the name of this one is Nature Green Tech. Yeah, so, I can open your website. So we can also see other colors. Do yeah. you also have another colors? No, only black. I have the blue one here. Okay, maybe it's better. I cannot really understand by my cam if you can see the articles. Yes, we can. So we, we can, if you move it with your hand, we can see the smoothness of the article. Yeah, so this one, it's uh, a really, really soft Napa. Probably is uh, the softer articles that we have. Okay. Uh, also because uh, uh, there's not chrome inside uh, and so getting the wet white leather you can also have uh, a special kind of feeling when you produce napa uh, it's a full grain leather natural grain and usually for the green tech the customers uh, um, is for medical shoes uh, orthopedic shoes uh, or for uh, fashion shoes it depends on because we have the natural one and then we have also the silk the silk is really similar of this one is the same things of the nature but usually people use it for lining for so lining. yeah okay. you can but have the same back. material okay but coming back to nature is this uh, pure aniline yeah yes and yes it is white tanning of course also here you have some memories, better memories than uh, the Marana that we see before. Well, correct. Our articles are, are not really, uh, I would say, are the, the, the kind of material that usually people use for uh, the production. So we do not have uh, you know the fashion style like uh, some strange embossing uh, or something like that we are always focalized uh, to some uh, standard articles uh, uh, that can follow also some certification I repeat like hydrotech or like green tech but no really big things uh, strange yeah you work more on the content on the feeling on the smell. yeah or the yeah. typical and now you develop it more strongly the wet white uh, this kind of green tech and also the hydro so it's something that can, uh, we can also see on all of your website I see you have plenty of uh, 
explanation in this case. So, Giulio, if you want to suggest something, some, some more article that you think that for the upcoming season can be perfect. Uh, yeah, so I want to introduce you also this material is uh, I, I want to do it because uh, usually uh, Pralpina is new because of our articles called uh, Goma. So uh, the feeling, uh, Goma means uh, in English is like gamma, you know. And so here the feeling of this material is really stiff. So it, it's not soft, not at all. It, it's really stiff. But the thing is that um, uh, today the fashion are asking for this kind of material. We are, I'm showing you uh, the fluo color. And this means that under the blue light, uh, you can get uh, a great uh, effect. Okay. And then we also produce the standard one is this one. Is uh, smooth, is totally smooth leather. But anyway, it's one of the most uh, articles request for the fashion today. Awesome. And we do also something special. Is the most more special articles we produce optically, I mean, is this one. But, you know, it's... Can we see much better? Can you open a little bit? So this we... one? Yes, this one. Is this material having a name? Excuse me? Uh, which is the name of this material? Uh, is uh, Goma Petrol. Goma Petrol. Wow. So, and this is working on the fluorescence effects. Yeah. yeah. In a digital printing or? No, it's not this one. It's uh, an effect, uh, you know, when put the inter that you can see the uh, on the top of the water. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, the effect is the same. It's a kind of special uh, chemical product that when uh, touch the top of the skins, this chemical product need to keep separate on the top. Okay, I understand. So I it's understand. a reaction, you know. It's a kind it's of a kind reaction of between chemical products. It's a kind of mechanical and chemical effect. Yeah. yeah. So it's not using a printing or something like this. This is very interesting. Did you experiment more of this kind of effect? No, really, because I repeat, Prepina usually is uh, focalized to produce articles uh, uh, that like need to go to production no uh, we are not focalized to develop uh, something strange like this one we do sometimes uh, under customer request but our mentality is to produce some standard articles not something more stable so if you Okay. Okay. So I have another I have another question if you give us some more time. Mm -hmm. So what about, what about uh, grading effect under UV light? So which is a reaction of UV light? The reaction right now here I do not have any blue light but anyway uh, to let you understand should be, uh, you know, for example, uh, inside the discotheque, uh, there are some people who have some accessories uh, that make brilliant, you know. That should be the effect. I'm so sorry because I do not have the blue light here. Uh, usually on our linea pelle fair, uh, we have a small room really dark and inside we keep the blue light uh, to show to the customers uh, the real reaction under the blue light. Wow, I'm so curious now. I'm really curious that I think will be nice to, uh, let me say, conclude this session 
but open the curiosity of every, everyone, inviting everyone to take part of Next Linear Pele in 22, 23 September with other, another physical and digital and new point of view. So I wish next September you can present to us uh, some more uh, exciting things like you did right now. So, Julio, really, thanks so much because it was so informative for all of us. And also, thanks to all the participants. Thanks a lot to you, Mrs. Orieta, for the time. It has been really appreciated. And thanks to you, to all people who take the time to have a look uh, to this page for Tanneries. And good luck for you all. And see, hope to see you soon, guys. For oh, sure. Hope to see you soon. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>